Um, that, that is actually the piano. Um, my dad's a pianist and I started playing very young before I could walk, I think. I think too, I, was, I have pictures of me doing that, so. played by ear for a while, uh, I had lessons from age seven, and uh, throughout the years always stuck with the piano, but took up various instruments like the guitar at about age nine or ten, and uh, trombone, saxophone, and double bass as well. I went to, well I went to um, a Waldorf school called Rudolf Steiner, which is, has a lot of music, it's like uh, um, up until eighth grade, and then I went to Music and Art High School in New York, um, which had a Justin DeChocho, the, who's the director of the Manhattan School of Music jazz program now, was uh, formerly the director of that program. So um, they had a jazz program, um, I, and I was in all the high school bands. I was actually in the the uh, Allstate jazz big band, the Tri-State McDonald's Jazz Orchestra, and the uh, All-City Jazz Big Band, so it was, we were just in all of those. I was in, in there with uh, people like Myron Walden and Eric McPherson, and Daniel Friedman, Miriam Sullivan, who's Mimi Jones now, and uh, Abraham Burton, so it was great. Well, um, from high school, times um, through afterwards. I didn't, I only attended a year of secondary, is that sec, is college called secondary school? No, what is that called? College, uh, Manus College of Music I went and I got to, to do some classical training and stuff but uh, I was pretty much, my mentor was Barry Harris at the time uh, for a few years and then Chris Anderson and um, and then some of my heroes who I didn't get to study with were Bud Powell, Thelonious Monk, uh, Mary Lou Williams, um, Elmo Hope, Randy Weston, and Alice Coltrane. Yeah, I was in high school and this was with Miriam Sullivan who is now, I don't even know if I should say her, her former name. Mimi Jones, and uh, she's a bassist, and Myron Walden. And it was up in a, a Harlem community center on a shitty piano, and old upright piano, and we just played trio, bass, piano, and sax. No, actually there was a drummer. I don't remember who it was. I, I don't remember what it paid. It probably paid 20 bucks. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe it didn't pay. Maybe it was just food. <laughs> Jazz album. Um, well, it was from my dad's record collection, and the thing that really spoke to me was this. I think it was, uh, wow, I think it was Cannonball Adderley's tribute. I may have this totally wrong. Maybe it was tribute to Dizzy Gillespie or tribute to Charlie Parker. I don't remember. But Barry Harris was on piano, and uh, Cannonball. I don't. I don't know who else is on that, but. It's a great record. They played Tour de Force and Anthropology and some great songs. Uh, I got into vinyl again recently. Um, I got a I got a record player. I hadn't had one for many years, obviously, because now everything's gone digital. So, but yeah, I'm kind of like rediscovering my old heroes on vinyl. I still have my collection, so. It's really nice. Yeah. Uh, Wayne Shorter. Um, folks I'd like to play with, I'd like to play again with Roy Haynes if possible. Um, hmm. No one else comes to mind at the moment. Sonny Rollins would be great.
Jason Lindner.